What's up, guys? Today we are talking everything kitchen and food, and we're responding to your comments on the Instagram page. You guys ready? Yalla. So the first phrase we're gonna talk about um, was sent over on the Instagram page. So everything actually we're talking about today was questions from you guys on the Instagram comment. All the phrases. So starting off with, first of all, before I start, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. This will help me to continue creating content and tutorials, Arabic tutorials for you guys. Uh, so yeah, consider hitting that subscribe button. It's just one quick boom and it helps a lot. So first phrase is dinner is ready. So to say this in Arabic, you say El Asha Jahiz. Once again, El Asha Jahiz. Okay, actually what we could do is I'm gonna share my screen to show you guys uh, a chart I prepared with all your comments. And that way you can see the writing in English, the writing in English, but the, the phrase, the Arabic phrase written out in English and also uh, in Arabic. So you familiarize yourself with the Arabic alphabet if you haven't been, or if you haven't studied the Arabic alphabet. Cool, so let's take a look. Okay, so the second phrase was, what time do you eat? And to say this in Arabic, you would say Aisa Takul. Aisa Takul. Or Aisa Takli for a female. Delicious. You can say Zakitir, which means really tasty. Or you can say something like Bishahi, which means appetizing. Once again, Bishahi or Zaki. Next up, we have very spicy. So for this, you can say كتير. Again, كتير with that ha sound. Someone asked, how do you say uh, not as good as your mother's? Um, so way to say this, you can say أكيد or مش زي أكل إمك or إمك. Uh, to be a little bit more polite, because that might be a little like direct, like your mama. Like, like saying it's not as good as your mama kind of thing. Um, to be a little bit more polite, you can say walidtek or walidtik. And that's a more for formal word for mother. Um, in the Arab world in general too, we give moms a like a title. So based on the eldest son. So for example, if, if Muhammad or Mahmoud or Ahmed um, is the oldest son, we would say M uh, M Muhammad, for example, or M Mahmoud, or M Ahmed, which means the mother of this guy. So to recap, Akid, Akid is for sure, and then Mish, that's negative. Zay means like, Akil means food. So I want you to remember that one because it's gonna come up a lot today. Uh, so Akid, Mish, Mish Zay Akil Walidtak, Wallah, Wallah is a filler word. Mish Zay Akil M Muhammad. For example, before we continue, a quick caveat for those that do read Arabic. So just keep in mind that the way I'm spelling the, these words in Arabic is how we pronounce them. So and that goes back to the concept of spoken Arabic versus uh, MSA, Modern Standard Arabic or Fusai Arabic. And for more on that, check the uh, link below. I have a uh, there's a video I did explaining the difference between both and I've linked it over here. So yeah, just keep in mind, we're not gonna be looking at this. For example, here, the spelling of this, technically, or in Fusha, it's Hada. And notice how it's very different than how I pronounce it in spoken. So Hada, this is Hada. Same with Ktir. So in, in spoken Arabic, we're saying Ktir. And in Fusha Arabic, it's the way you would say this is Kathir, and that's spelled like this. So because our focus is spoken Arabic, we're not looking at these guys. We're looking specifically at how to pronounce the word and the spelling to kind of guide you and help you with pronunciation specifically. Cool? Back to the video. For a guy, you would say, Inta Ahsan. Once again, Inta Ahsan Tabakh or Inta Ashtar Tabakh. For a girl, you'd say "inti ahsan uh, tabakha." Once again, "inti ahsan tabakha." I want to eat this for dinner. Biddi akul hada ala al-asha. 
Um, notice here, so ala means on or for in this scenario, for dinner. Um, and then you have il, but when you put them together, so ala il becomes ala pronunciation wise. Ala, these are, these are uh, more advanced tips, but they're gonna make you sound more like a, uh, a local and people will know that you've been around, you know, the, the, the Arab world and you're able to converse. So ala and il, so on and the together become ala instead of ala il. So ala al asha. I made this for lunch. Could you try it and let me know what you think? If you're talking to a guy, you would say tabakht, which is the past tense for I cooked. Uh, so tabakht hada al ghada. Tidar jarrib u tuli raiyat. This one's a little bit long, so maybe pause the video and take a look at the transliteration. But basically, tabakht is the past tense for cooked. And then hada, this ghada is the word for lunch. And tidar means are you able to? Jarrib to try. U uh, is the word for and in spoken Arabic. I know a lot of you have been studying modern standard Arabic. The word for that is wa, but in, in everyday spoken Arabic we say u. Um, same like the same think of when you say like u la la, that kind of u. So u uli ra'ik. Just to make it easier. Um, for a girl, tabakht. If if you're talking to a girl, you would say tabakht hada al ghada. Tabakht hada tabak. For example, I cooked this dish uh, for lunch. Tadari jarbi utuli li ra'ik. Tadari jarbi utuli li ra'ik. Okay. Yummy. Uh, there's no like direct word for yummy. You can say mmm. Exactly. For example, or mmm. Tayib. Tayib kthir. As an example, uh, what's there to eat? Shufi, shufi lal akil. Or shufi al akil. Shufi, you can say like shufi al ghada. Like what's there for lunch? Shufi al asha. What's there for dinner? Uh, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, you can say for a guy, which is ana nabati. Nabati. For a girl, ana nabati. If you feel like the other party isn't really getting what you're saying, because it is a fairly, uh, it's not, like you don't hear this every, every day. Um, it's not as common, I guess, in the West, as in the West. So you can say, oh, ana nabatiye, for a girl, for example. Yani, uh, which means, ma bakul luhum, I don't eat meats, for example. Ma bakul luhum, remember, ma, negation. Ma and mish, every time you hear those, that's, that's a negative. Ooh, what else? What did you have for iftar? So iftar in this case, for those of you that don't know, uh, during Ramadan, when we break our fast, that meal is called, is the same word for breakfast. So which means iftar or iftar. Um, so I'm guessing, so this is a, a very common kind of thing to talk about. Well, what are you guys having for iftar? Which is the main meal of the day when you break our fast, when the sun sets, the sun sets uh, late. So it's kind of like, um, yeah. What did you have for uh, iftar? Akalt is the past tense of um, ana makil, Yes, past tense of uh, to eat. So ana akalt. Uh, what did you eat? If you're talking to a girl, you would say shu akalti al iftar. We're saying al, but it's al comes from ala, which is on, but in this scenario for. Uh, and then al, ala al, just like we mentioned earlier, becomes ala al, ala al iftar. Okay, uh, please show me how to cook mansa. Mm, good, show me too, please. Uh, to say this, you would say, mumkin tuarjini kif atbukh mansa. Once again, mumkin tuarjini kif atbukh mansa. Uh, so mumkin is like, is it possible to? And then tuarjini is, can you show me? Um, Kif is how Atbukh is to cook. Those of you following the Instagram page, we did a mini class on that. Check it out. It has the verb Atbukh. Uh, and then Matbukh means kitchen. Those of you that, that haven't been around. And then Mensaf is an awesome, awesome traditional Jordanian dish that is, is you just have to try it to know how, how good it is. Um, probably do a separate video altogether just on Mensaf. Uh, can you deliver as close to iftar as possible? 
uh, yes, I've, I've had this issue as well. To say this, ممكن توصلوا الأكل قريب من وقت الإفطار or you can say um, ممكن توصلوا الأكل على الوقت هاي المرة Can you guys deliver on time? This time? This time around? هاي المرة or هذه المرة This time? ممكن again, is it possible توصلوا uh, to deliver الأكل is the word for food أكل is food, remember that um, على ال um, So we said على and ال becomes على ال على ال وقت in this case, um, on and the, um, combine them together. Then we have someone asking, eat fast, and then please, كل بسرعة لو سمحت. To a girl, you would say كل بسرعة لو سمحت. Can I have a table for lunch? It's not very common to ask, like you can say mungkin tawla lalgada, but more common to ask like can I get a table for X amount of people? So to say this you would say mungkin uh, tawla, is it possible to get a table? The word for table is tawla, uh, tawla over here. And then la is for, in this case, not la which means no in fusha, la is for. Um, la arba, arba for four. Ashkas. Ashkas is persons. People, but in this scenario, person. Mumkin tawla la arba ashkas. Very common thing to ask. Mumkin tawla la shaksin. Mumkin tawla la talat ashkas. So on and so forth. I like Italian cuisine. We know the word for. So cuisine can be food in this scenario. Or in Arabic, we just say food. So bahib el akil el itali. I like bahib. El akil is food. Or the food, el Itali, the Italian. What kind of blank did you use? Uh, I'm gonna use the word salsa for this, exa this example. Um, you can say, شو نوع السلسة اللي بتستعملها? What what kind of salsa uh, do you use? The word for use is a little bit complicated. We can cover it later, but I'm just responding to whoever wanted to talk about stuff here. Uh, we're not gonna dive too much into grammar and, and meanings, but um, شو نوع الصلصة اللي تستعملها to a girl شو نوع الصلصة اللي تستعمليها so same beginning شو نوع الصلصة اللي تستعمليها the word for what is شو or إيش so key things I want you guys to remember through all of this obviously it's going to be very difficult to remember all this stuff but if you remember two uh, words those would be أكل which means food and then شو شو is what شو or إيش is what with a spatula in her hand. Uh, okay, this one was, was a tough one, but after further analysis and multiple conference calls with family members, um, what, we, what we concluded was the word for spatula in Arabic is magrafe. And um, why this was complicated? Because like in my family, we don't really use that word. We just say, give me the thing to, to pour the food and the thing. We just So it, 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 I guess we just forgot about it. Uh, but to to uh, translate it for you, maz with um, spatula magrafe. You can to be more specific, you can say magrafe msattaha, which is flat uh, thingy, like a flat spatula. Um, in her hand, fi is in idha uh, her hand. Okay. Uh, pronounce the most common meals. Oh, this is the fun part. Ooh, okay, we're definitely gonna make a separate video just on the uh, the most common meals and delicious meals. Off the top of my head, you have mansaf, which we covered before. We have rukhiyeh. We have wara'ana. For desserts, you have knafe, and it's pronounced knafe, so it, it's written out like knife, but in Arabic, we actually pronounce every uh, letter that we that we spell so knafe like knife but not really knafe um, then we have atayif some people pronounce it katayif it's technically spelled with a qaf for those of you that have been studying and the qaf in ami in a lot of places becomes either a or in, in other areas too you can say ka but uh, like katayif but where i'm from you say atayif um, then you have harise or Namura. All excellent desserts. 
And then last but not least, can we eat together? Very nice. Mumkin nakul ma'bad. Um, once again, mumkin, is it possible? Nakul for us to eat ma'bad together. Cool. All right, that was it for all the comments for that you guys left from the previous post. If you guys like this and found this valuable, please do share, comment if you have more questions, and most, most importantly, please do subscribe. Uh, that was pretty much it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Before I go, actually, there's a, there's a very common kind of greeting or thing you say that's really nice when someone's eating or they just had a meal or they're about to eat. You would say sahtain, which literally translates into two health. It doesn't make a lot of sense in, in English, but it's essentially wishing another person like all the health and kind of like bon appetit. It's literally like bon appetit. Um, so sahtain, or you can say saha wa'afi. So sahtain, enjoy your meals, and we'll see you in the next one.